Sorry guys. Uh some technical malfunctions right now. And we got screen. Touchdown. Uh, Windows. Microsoft, what did you do with the update? You're destroying people's computers, you knuckleheads. Why do you do it? Have you learned from the last update problems you were doing? Delete. Oh, man. I guess the lesson won't be learned. What's up, everyone? This is the Panda Photographer. Sorry for the late live stream. Technical difficult. Blah, blah, blah. Technical Sorry difficulties. Oh, got my own value on my phone, so I'm gonna be paying attention to these comments if someone comments. But with that said, should be in focus. We should be in focus. Uh, so welcome everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying their Saturday. I hope everyone is enjoying a beautiful day today. Here it is so beautiful. I am not kidding. It is amazing. It's just truly an outstanding day. <sighs> so, I am the Panda Photographer, and we're doing an update on the firmware of the ZM1 4K Micro Four Thirds mirrorless camera. So, the tutorial that I did uh, today was basically a 2.0. So, if you guys want to know about all the other features that you wasn't able to access well this is going to be the video for you now if you guys want to support the channel you can support the channel by subscribing like and sharing leaving your comments down below and tell me are you a photographer or a videographer and what what do you shoot mostly would you buy this camera because i did a half pass review on it quick wasn't a really quick one. It was just basically my experience for 48 hours. So, and I find it still to be a really good camera for Micro Four Thirds. But anyway, uh, let's turn this bad boy on. I got exposure. And now, here's some things that you guys need to know about this particular camera. It's Micro Four Thirds, we already got that. We addressed it. It has a Sony sensor. We already addressed that. It does now have HDR capabilities on the sensor and this woman just got into my shot wow people these days just mess up the glory now it's flickering now you can see it's flickering so you guys can see but let me show you how to get rid of the flickering and this lady is absolutely in my shot was she even looking in my direction she was standing for a moment she stopped she saw me recording and then she continued on into the shot but whatever. <laughs> so let's go into these settings. So ISO, we don't want to know about these other settings. What we want to know is about HDR. So now HDR is highlighted in the corner, okay? So now if you press HDR, it is not crossed out. It's activated. So once you go back to your screen, you can see in the green highlight in the right hand corner, it says HDR. So, oops, does this camera want to focus? Come on, lock the focus, buddy. There you go. You don't want to focus on the woman. No. Uh oh, guys, I'm having difficulties. All right, my focus point won't stop shifting. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so it was hunting there for a second. But anyway, back into. The menus. Now we also have the ability to turn it off and the ability to turn this face detection on and the ability to shoot in any image ratio. So I'm going to be shooting a 16 by 9 if I'm shooting 4K, which if you do so and you shoot 18 by 9 and you're going to do the 4K menu settings, 
it's still the same thing but if I can find the resolution I found this resolution now there's a 50 megapixel feature on this camera now and it wasn't there before but I'm not gonna talk about that I'm gonna talk about that in the photography review on this camera so anyway now I'm probably gonna do 16 megapixels because that's way enough for 4k so we can do a shorter 4k 60 by 9 we got raw now Bracklin. Now, if you want to take multiple photos and bracketed, and bas basically what you want to do is say, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I'm using my train of thought. Anyway, it says three frames every two seconds. So, frames, seconds. So, if I wanted to take three frames every two seconds, that would give me a long exposure. So, let's try that. And we're going to try this feature and Did it take it? And what did it do? I have no idea. I'm clueless as what I'm saying. Hmm. I'm clueless right now. I'm not sure. Was that a bracket or what? Because it tells you if you score, turn the dial, the right dial on the corner of the camera. You can definitely see the mode, the spot meaning, the aperture. It says F8, shutter speed, ISO, color depth, but no bracket information. Hmm. Oh, yes, it did. So this is what the, it did. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. I don't know why I wouldn't want to take multiple colors. <laughs> uh, look, you got monochrome, I believe. You got... You got off white, which is a black and white setting or preset. You got base green, like a tent green there. You got a monochrome gray, purplish. I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure if I want to use this feature at all, to be honest with you. I might just scratch that and not even use this. Okay. Because I don't like how, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. Okay. I gotta delete all these by and you gotta delete these all one by one. Holy crap. You can't delete them as a set of three. That would make more sense, right? Wow, that's a lot. Okay. So now we know it has white balance background and I'm gonna turn this off for now. I'm not sure what happened there. Do I need some type of controller for this? This is why maybe why the USB port is also available to actually be a function as a controller in a CPU. Well, when you attach this up to your CPU, you have control over that as well. So you can control it to your CPU. I noticed it to today. But anyway, let's turn this off. Hmm. Now let's see here. Stabilization is now activated. Let's see here. Turn this off, turn this on. Okay, leave this on. Now, I know I said that the touchpad or the LCD screen is pretty good for what it is, but it does have a lag, see? It should score with my finger, not against, not like a day <laughs> later. I'm just joking. But it's a delay, but mm. It's what it is. Let's see here. I'm all over the place. I lost my train of thought. I went off, I went off script. That's not good. <laughs> and time lapse. Now, we got time lapse. So let me talk about time lapse really quickly. Why is this thing like focusing? Oh, guys, this is not a good live stream. All right, can I lock the focus? Let's see here. Let's lock the focus. How about this? Okay, now the, unlock the focus by just going into manual mode. But anyway, 
This is why I don't like autofocus. Okay, so we're in time lapse and we have functionalities for power retention. Ooh. Photos only, videos only. That's excellent. That's good to have. Hmm. How many shots? Oh, you can set up how many shots you want in the time lapse. Nice. I'm gonna try that time lapse tomorrow morning. And I, 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 I guarantee you, I'll let you guys see the samples. Oh, look at that. Now you can add how much time lapse photos you want to take. Oh, I'm going to try the time lapse feature on this camera too. I haven't done a time lapse in a while. I think it's time, right? Yeah, I think it's time. But anyway, we know it has time lapse capabilities. And you can set how many info votes and how many photos you can take too. See? I mean, info votes and time. You can add the time. Nice. Hours, minutes, and seconds. Ooh, cool. Very cool. Oops. Let's go back to time lapse. Come on, see? And what we have here delay shooting time. Hmm, so shots between each image. So we will probably do, say, daytime. Just do two seconds behind one image each. And then at night, we want to do, say, if we do a five second exposure, we want to do at least another two second to three second delay. Yeah, I would want to do a two second delay. That's just me. But, let's see here. We saw all these settings. Okay, we saw this. Hmm. What else is on here that is interesting? And just to let you guys know, you can see the firmware 3.2 International. Oh, look at my glorious hands. Oh, does it give you a tingle? <laughs> What's going on with the shutter speed on my camera, though? going on there why is it so laggy okay it was laggy for a second because I can see it through my okay so my live stream is saying that I'm laggy see look at that why oh boy it's not smooth I don't like that I don't like that that's not a good thing uh, everything is going screwing up today. Why? I, I'm sorry, guys. I had rushed here t to get this room. I'm sorry. It's like I got other priorities to do, and I thought I had everything set up. But it's so laggy right now. Can I just do something? One favor, guys. I, I'm going to do something. Let's go back. Okay, that's better. Yay. All right. The, see, the Sony app is just buggy. See, now it's smooth. All right. All right. You just want to make sure. So, let's go into camera settings. So, we can access all these settings here. Oh, but it did not let us have autofocus. HDR, why did it not let us have an HDR photo? Hmm, so I have to go in manual mode for pussies. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No aperture, manual. Always manual. Let's see, HDR, let's take an HDR photo. Process an image, let's see what it does. And did it take it? Is that the HDR photo? Because that sucks. See, I need to do this in more adequate lighting. Wow. 
So I'm not sure we need to do this test over, but anyway, 3.0, we get capabilities. Let's see here. So if I put this in regular camera mode, which is auto mode. Hmm. Compared to putting this in manual mode. There's certain features that you cannot access. It sees here. Apparently, you cannot access ISO. You cannot access white balance for some reason. But I'm in manual mode. I'm not sure if that's. I don't know. 2.0, I was able to actually access white, white balance and ISO. That's a little. Something's wrong with this uh, firmware. Because I am in manual mode as we speak. Yeah, I am. Wow, they really sc screwed this up. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What mode can I assets all the settings? Is this is this even functioning correctly or what? What is it, custom? I came in access HDR. Wow. So it seems like you cannot access certain settings in certain modes, which is ridiculous. If I'm in manual mode, I should access everything. Not half of everything. This is crazy. It was working fine completely in 2.0, but 3.2 just. Hmm. I'm not liking this. So just turn HDR mode off. Okay. So it seems like if I turn HDR off, then I can access the ISOs. Did you just see that? And I can access also the white balance, time-lapse teacher, and other settings. Hmm. So, let's see if RAW works with HDR. No, that's just, it does not. Okay, that makes sort of some, some, some sense, but let's see if bracketing works with RAW. Nope, why? Why does that bracketing photos work with RAW? I don't get it. What's up, La? I'm just uh, going through these settings at 3.2, and I'm not very happy with it. As you can see, that I'm going through the settings, and they literally... 2.0 was actually better, but 2.0 needed to be updated because they needed to unlock some features, like HDR and bracketing. But if you can tell, like, look at that. I'm in manual mode, and I don't have access to bracketing or resolution i don't understand that why do i not have access to that in manual mode this is rubbish this is a rubbish fucking update i'm sorry but this is rubbish manual mode on the camera number m means you have ability to change everything this is a Sony sensor and it's Micro Four Thirds. It's capable of doing raw. If it's capable of doing raw, then it should be capable of being available everything in manual mode. I don't want the illuminator on. The grid. Did they change the grid? Or oh, they add more features to the grid. Okay. Heaven and Earth is still there. Diagonally. Yeah, it seems that put this one there. Boom. I wish they, you can change the color though. See, they still haven't changed the color. It's black still. And how many of you prefer white? I know I preferred white. Okay, so. Check out this. So if you take the dial, the right dial on the camera should be able to change the direction. Oh, 
press play press the shutter button yeah but i don't want to move in that direction so i thought i can change the direction yep oh sorry my mistake i knew you can change the direction it's the circle button this button is actually featured three times that it could do multiple things which is pretty good you just gotta remember see you can change in any direction okay that sounds pretty sweet all right blah 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 can't access any look a menu mode but i can't access all these settings what the Oof. okay so mind you See, if I'm in manual, I should also be able to access the image uh, aspect, but I'm not. I should be able to. I'm in raw. If I want to shoot three by, I mean four by three. If I, if, to my choice, yeah. If I want to shoot sixteen by nine, which I do sometimes. If I want to print something out, I think I want to have that flexibility to print. And to create an image in that format. Hmm. Okay, that's freaking ridiculous. See, I was going to have this video live so you guys can ask me a question and see what it can do if you guys were to ask the question. But it seems like this video is not meant to be because, uh, first of all, I have my computer my functions, not the computer my function. A audio of my function so I had to restart the computer and reboot everything and boot all the programs again but make it out the screen for too long I've been in the screen too long Wow I do apologize for that I'm sorry I'm just trying to focus on this camera okay what mode see and shutter mode s for sassy <laughs> okay Bracket in three frames, just do one overexposed. Just do one equal. Let's see if this will work. Did you hear that noise? Let's, let's try that again. You had it snaps three times. No, let's see what it did. Um, hey Jack, what did you do? See, you guys can read them. the settings by taking the dial on the right hand side of the camera and just scroll it to your left. That's pretty neat. I like that feature, but um, yeah, you guys need to fix the software, firmware update, make it manual for everything. Not a half ass to sit here. Nope. Ah, not really good images. If I had continuous light, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Alright. Seems like firmware update has some issues. Okay, so we can go to camera mode and look how it blacks out a lot of these features why <laughs> I, i'm just really curious why why do you block out most of the features in the camera mode i don't have a, a uh, flexibility to change the image aspect ratio or do focus bracketing or image bracketing or time lapse and camera mode i, I thought camera mode can can do everything that's what i was thinking but i could be wrong but whatever but if we change the format size right let's see oops we get some settings back oh look at that now we can control the image expert ratio okay see four by three you got three by two you got 16 by nine you got one to one oh for micro photography nice I'm gonna be doing that with this camera but you can see so if I wanted to shoot 16 by 9 I can shoot 16 by 9 
amazing. So I think I want to shoot all my images. JPEG. 16 by 9 because I want to do a time lapse later. <laughs> so get that already set up before we even start shooting the time lapse. So that will be nice. Okay, we're not gonna use flash. So I wanna see what this does, the 50 megapixel. What, what does that do? I'm kind of curious now. Sorry, lady, you in my shot. You're gonna have to like step aside. Okay, let's see here. Did it take the 50, 50 megapixel? Whoa, I think it did. Let's see. Can how do you zoom in? No. Can't it. Oh, we got we got zoom functionalities with the dial too. So the dial can function as a zoom. All right. That's a 50 megapixel image. Why does it look so muddy? Really? Okay, let's do that again, guys. Let's see here. See, it says 50 megapixels on the left-hand corner. Let's zoom in. Let's see the metadata. And the metadata tells us it was shot Okay, 50 megapixels. All right, the file size law, the law, <clears throat> sorry, the image size is 11.2 megabytes. Hmm. I saw GB. Okay. Wait, let's zoom in. Can you read the histogram on the back? So that's new. So if you scroll the dial to your right, you can zoom in. Okay, see that. And you can touch the screen. I don't know. Zooming in on this. A little camera shake there from my hand. Okay, so let's take another image to be certain this time. What's up, Al? Can you do a digital review, digital rev camera challenge that is trying to overcome the shortcomings of a camera with your experience and professionalism? Hmm. I should, right? Okay, yeah, I do one. I do one when I go outside and I challenge the camera, or I don't know, or just pick up a, a toy camera and see what I can get out the images. That's what you want. The old Kyle, Kai. That's an old cow and Loki and Lok, whatever. Okay, so Locke. That's his name, Locke. I'm sorry, Locke. I mispronounced your name. Oh. But let's see if we can put this on a timer. So we have to go. Damn, we can't even use time lapse mode. Okay. We have to go, maybe. Uh, blah, blah. Nope. Does it give us an option to do a timer? I guess. That's kind of sad. Shutter. That's a shutter sound. Okay, we can try to hold it still. Let's take an image. All right.
That's a pretty damn small, sharp image. If that's so-called supposed to be a 50 megabyte or megapixel image. But from what these photos looks kind of muddy. Just looks very muddy. Let's try it again. Let's try to find All right, let's see this image. I did the breathing, breathing technique, like inhale, hold your breath, take the image, exhale, release. And then let's see here. That looks better, but it still looks muddy. Look, it still looks muddy. So is there, is this the invitation of a 50 megapixel image? I don't know, but it looks nice from the other images. As you can see, that one's too dark. These are video. Hmm. 3.0 has some shortcomings, that's for sure. It's not perfect. Now you cannot access thing. I was doing so fine with 2.0, I swear. 2.0 was not that bad, other than the flickering part, but I still get flickering. And 3.0, 3. I mean, 3.2, sorry. So just try P for pussies. P mo for pussies. <laughs> for cowards that don't know want to shoot. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, this video has been graphic. So if you enable HDR and uh, priority mode, and are we still gonna have 50 megapixels? Mm, nope. We're gonna go drop back down to 20 megapixels. So now we understand, but let's do 16 megapixels. Well, we didn't still, but we want the largest as possible. So, and then, See here, and priority mode, what's also is available. Stabilization is available. Illumination is on, is available. The flash mode is not available. Okay. Raw is not available. Hmm. Why? That's, should be. I want to shoot in priority mode, and but I want to shoot in raw. I think I have a choice because that should not be a function that is connected to an image quality, to an image uh, settings inside a camera. I think RAW should be, no matter mo what mode you shoot on, you should be able to shoot RAW. If my Sony camera could do that, so would this camera. <laughs> I'm just saying. But. Do we have access to, yep. We have access to the image expect ratio, which is great. So we're gonna, we just go through these settings and I'm all over the place, but let's go into, what is this? Aperture mode, let's see what happens in aperture mode. So in aperture mode, we do not get control over the, the ISO or gain that's what most some people call it, but it's ISO if some people want to call it. Uh, white balance we do not have access to. Okay, that makes no fucking sense, but. Spot metering we have access to. We have focus modes, we have access to that. Touch functionality, face detection, HDR. That's, but if we disable HDR, we would get, I, ISO, white balance, spot minion, yeah. So it depends in aperture mode if you have HDR on or not. It might also apply to a priority mode as well. So let's see it up here. We have access to no flash mode either. Hmm. 
But do we get 50 megapixels with this? Nope, we get 20. Okay, and now do we get... Okay, let's see here. We get capabilities to the image aspect ratio, which is great. Format. We're still not able to select raw in aperture mode. Stabilization. Now we're going to go to shutter mode. No flash mode. We still don't get 50 megapixels. Okay. But we get 20. It is a 20 megapixel camera, so I don't understand how it's actually going to function as a 50 megapixel camera. I would love to play with that thing with the MetaBoost Nikon Speed Booster. That's what I'm saying. I was thinking the same thing. Would it have been cool to mount on the Irix 150 lens with a MetaBoost adapter that is actually, they do have one for Canon to Micro Four Thirds? Ooh, that'd be so amazing. Isn't it just a camera screen? I just met the video it looks impressively sharp. Yeah, the video is pretty sharp. I'm impressed by the video quality, but I haven't taken any photos with it really other than the ones we've been testing. But it seems that with this camera, there's a lot of functionalities you got to remember. And certain features, if you turn on HDR on, it would actually turn off some other features. Which is, I guess it could be a good thing and a bad thing. It keeps you from over sharpening maybe images or making mistakes in photography. But to me, just, just give me that. Well, obviously, we just discovered earlier... In manual mode, I don't have functionalities to everything at <laughs> either, so. Okay, 4K. But we get bracketed as a feature. It's like stacking photos on top of each other. And... Nope. So, let's do... raw and you gotta turn off hdr in order to ask absolutely get raw features so and we got controls of iso we got controls over white balance we got controls over face detection focus mode we have con controls over the time lapse 4k video okay this is better 16 by 9 when I shoot the time lapse later, it's gonna be nice. I hope it's nice. I hope it takes some really good time lapse. If it doesn't, ooh, we fight it. We fighting Yang technologies. We fight it. But it gives us access to 50 megapixels in raw. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that with this image because that's gonna take up a lot of. So averagely, based on light and how, how many objects in, is in the photograph and moving objects and the information, data processing, I'm going to say about 12 to 13 megabytes per image. So we're going to keep it at 20, be on the safe side of things. And we're going to shoot this raw because we're big boys. We don't want to shoot things JPEG. Well, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You can shoot JPEG if you want, but make sure it's JPEG large. Or should I just do it in JPEG large and let it just do the processing for me? All I have to do is just stitch in. Should I do that instead? Okay. But we want to shoot in 16 by 9 when we do it. I want to have stabilization on. Okay, so panoramic mode. Okay, we got what is this? At super S mode. I call it super S for sassy sassies. Okay, what's available? Okay, time lapse is not available in the S icon logo that is highlighted. Actually, where's the manual? Pick up what they call that. Look it up right now. I'm gonna look it up right now. And here we go. We got the manual. And it says, page. 
Sorry guys, gotta read this in Chinese. When it can be ready, Lotto. Hmm. So, us is for scene. Scene. I guess. Okay, so I guess this has something to do with video. It might have something to do with video because obviously I'm able to access 4K and the resolution I'm able to use 50, 50 megapixel in this mode too. So, but I'm not able to use ISO and white balance. Only continuous autofocus and focusing mode and face detection. Now I can change the drives as I want continuous two second delay. Oh, we do have a two second and ten second delay. Okay, let's do that. So we're gonna go back into okay. We, let's see here. We we getting somewhere with this. It changing a lot of stuff around. Okay. And C. C means for super professional guide. Ho oh, ho. That's what it means. <laughs> so. And what we have access to ISO, yes. Continuous autofocus, yes. White balance, yes. Give me all that juicy stuff. But we do not have access to time lapse or the Bracken feature. Oops. Has this been a nightmare for you? Because that's this is what I feel that this camera is going to do a, a nightmare of. People are just rouncing saying, oh, we should enable this, but don't put this in order. Oh, wait, should we have this person have full control in RAW if they want to shoot in this mode? It seems that way. But are we, do we still have RAW capabilities? Yes, we do. This mode is called, it's called Super Professional Guide. Wow, what a name. What a name, Paul. All right, now we're back into camera mode where... Everything is mostly blocked out, even HDR, bracket and time lapse. We're able to shoot raw still, but if we're able to shoot raw, it blocks out the, the 20 megapixels. You see that? Watch. Pick JPEG fine. We're able to access the tw uh, resolution on the camera. Uh, I'm. I'm I thought if I'm shooting raw, I should be able to access the resolution on the camera. I don't get it. But, seems. <laughs> shooting raw, homie. No problem. Alright. See, there's a lot of, like, tweaks that you guys have to, like, remember. Oh, in this mode, you can't do this and do this and do that. In this mode, you can't do this and do this and do that. But in this mode, you can do this and do that. If you turn off this settings and turn off this feature, it's like, oh, come on. But you get used to it, I guess, after a certain amount of time, I guess. But. Okay, so. Hmm. Let me Let me boot up Premiere, show you some footage. If you guys like the content, if you thought it was like out of place and uh, what the hell were you thinking while doing this live stream? Dude, I was off track. I lost all com all confidence in this in making this video, even though I still wanted to make it. I lost my train of thought. A whole bunch of times. I've been all over the place since like six this morning. I've just been like taking photos, taking video, going to this place, meet up with a, 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 a old friend to say hello. It's just been a very busy day. Very busy days. And it, it, here is something that I, I should show you guys, but I was like, okay, I could put two diffusers together. Add a little soft light.
Okay, so now we're in Premiere, and I'm going to just show you some footage that I recorded this morning. So, and I did do some minor tweaks in here and there. So, you guys let me know what you think. And by the way, if the video footage is flexible to add, it is actually. It's really good to add, in my opinion. So, if you guys want to see what I did. So, this is what my adjustments look like. <laughs> Just to give you guys some context of what I was doing with the footage, just playing around with the footage, seeing what I can bend and so what I can stretch, how far I can push those shadows, how much I can push that diamond range, which the camera does have good diamond range. It seems like it's on par to maybe like a A6300. So this is the footage for today. Oh, jittery. What's going on here? Come on, computer. Yep, on the wrong power mode. Oh, what is going on? So on the wrong problem mode. Everything is going wrong on this live stream today. <laughs> okay, so if you guys want to see what it does to the video, oh, I let you, I let you see all the clips, and then we're gonna play around with how much we can push. And that's with the 12 to 40 f 3.5 to 5.6 lens, by the way. Why is it laggy? It was running buttery smooth. Oh, this light shoe never goes right. <sighs> All right. So if we if we was to go back into this footage here so I'm gonna disable some features watch what I do we're gonna turn off creativity we're gonna turn off the basic color correction the curve the, the color wheel and then I'm gonna turn this on but let me show you what I was working with before. So I'm going to, if I can remember, 0 0.228. Okay. Reset. None. Now, I'm not even like, this is out of the camera. This is out of the box of the camera. Okay. And this is what you get out of the camera when you're shooting in 4K. It is an MP4 file, but... If I choose an input Lux, and I'm gonna choose the Phantom Rec 709 Gamma, and just pushing the shadows a little bit, just pushing the shadows a little bit, and you can see where, if I turn this up, it's down a little bit, push the shadows down just a little bit, push it down just a bit, Right there. It's a little bit right. And the blacks go down just slightly. And then what I did next was use a Fuji 2125 Adobe, uh, Kodak on top of it. You see the subtle change. No big change, really. There's no big change. And Mess with these curves a little bit just to big out and that's what I did to the footage I wonder how does it how does the 50 megapixel image since it doesn't move the center like a paint tax 
got some fancy technology going on in there they sh should maybe use it in a smartphone too which they already are did you know they already have a 50 megapixel iphone i mean 50 megapixel phone that's run around china that's quite a few if you go to their website at uh yi technologies you will see their smartphones they they other branch which is the zaudi zaudi which they make smartphones and smart devices and drones and all that good stuff yeah the min the, the menu center is taunton yes that is true all right shoot picks in a mode i don't know we have to see we have to see if you know there's always ways around it and that is learning the system i know it's a pain in the butt to learn but if you can get it if you get it if you can literally program a computer the way you want you can program a camera to, to see fit to the image quality that you want so if i was you just read the manual, go through this, play with the settings, play with the menu, see what you can get out of it, and see what's the best settings in what mode. That's what I would do. This is loaded up really slow. See now, this is out of the camera, straight out of the camera, no processing done. I took all the processing off. So what I did first was add some basic corrections. Yes, I added the Phantom Rec 709 gamut to it. Then it added some creativity, add some curves. You guys can see there's curves and kind of gives separation. But that bokeh, that bokeh is smooth. You can you can tell what's in the background. Don't get me wrong. It's not sharp. It's not meant to be sharp. It's made to be a fall off. Like, look at that background. You can see what's going on. You can see what objects are in the background. But the lens does have some potential. Not saying it's the best lens for this camera because you can mount on a Panasonic 12 to 24 or any Panasonic lens and get probably better image quality from just having a Panasonic lens. Now, Yi is not a lens manufacturer, so I'm not sure who made the lenses for them. Maybe some kind of pixel shift technology. It seems like the 50, 50 megapixel feature on this camera is basically a pixel shift. Yeah, I, I, it seems that way. But we can't, we don't know for sure this is Sony, maybe Sony picked up on something that we, they are not ready to int produce into a new camera. Maybe this will be in, maybe the new Sony cameras, maybe the next A A9R, who knows. Yeah, it looks nice the way it is, like from... From not adding any of these. Let's see here. And I just turn this off too. Turn everything off. You can see like this is what it looks like straight out of the out of the camera. The video quality is so good looking. If we zoom in, a hundred percent. Do you see any grain? <laughs> I see a little hint of grain, but it's like perfect grain. It's like, it's like, it's the grain that you want it to be. This is the grain that you want sharp, but you want some details, but you don't want it to be too sh too sharp or too noisy. Look at that! Look at that! That's sharp. That this this little freaking lens. Let me, guys, let me, oh, goodness. Hold on, let me, let me just take this off and just be wild with it. Actually, no, 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 let me just turn this around. How about that? So you guys can see all the glory. 
Hold on. Let's make sure we get this in focus. Okay. All right. Let's do screen two. This little shit, this little lens was able to do all that magic. Yes, I'm calling it magic. <coughs> I'm calling it magic for a couple of reasons, because it is magic. Okay, let me... Is it sharp? No. It's not even focusing. What's going on here? Oh, my controller turned off. Ah, I see what What's going on here? Okay, this little lens right here did everything possible like it's made out of freaking plastic by the way it, it and it it basically has what what is it uh six groups nine elements let's see here look at the back of the box just to make sure that i'm absolutely correct yep nine groups and 11 elements so nice little little small lens does the job really well but this brings me back to this like image quality is really nice highlight these all and boom look at that that's pretty amazing that means you're flexible in editing the footage that comes out of this particular micro four thirds camera and imagine putting a meta booster on there and then putting any any lock any micro four thirds lens on it and get really good image quality so yeah it's a fun camera it's a really fun camera, but it's also could be an excellent B-roll camera. So I don't mind using it. I don't mind using it for 4K, but what I really want is a gimbal. If I can get a gimbal for this camera, I don't want a heavy gimbal. I want something that is going to support this camera with extra stuff. Meaning like I need to put a, a display, you know, I need to put a five inch uh, monitor on there maybe. And maybe it's a micro and a, uh, a third party microphone. And I'm pretty sure if Yi technology was to make a, a USB plug in microphone, but here's the catch you won't be able to actually charge your batteries. And you gotta stick with using the, the 900 million hour batteries that don't last that long, last as an hour. So if you wanna blog all day, you're gonna have to make some sacrifices here. Now, it would be also nice if Yi just makes their own stabilizer for this camera. And not only that, they can actually implement some type of way where they can plug power in and have audio run through the one jack, which is that USB port. So, let's see here. See? That would be nice. The HDMI, on the other hand, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Not sure what we want to do with it, but it's a nice camera. But 3.0, 3.2, I'm sorry, 3.2 software is just, it's all over the place. 2.0 was actually better. Maybe I should roll back. <laughs> but then again, I'm not really having that much of a flicker problem. What I'm actually having is a focus problem. So I think the focusing got even worse than 2.0. And that's just from my experience doing video this morning at the farmer's market. It just, it just didn't work like it did 
the day before yesterday and then when I opened the box and then yesterday when I was doing video it just didn't perform as good and it's like wow why is this setting not able to access this setting it's just weird but if you guys Any questions? Let's see here. How many blades does the aperture of the lens have? Nine groups, 11 elements. Uh, like, a, like even the IQ looks like a... What? I'm, I'm confused. Wait, wait. <laughs> like even the IQ looks a little bit like a red dot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It broke a looks good for a yeah the book it does look good for a micro four thirds camera yeah what this camera is actually missing is the viewfinder but i'm pretty sure they may may make one for the horseshoe mount so i don't like screens either because they are not accurate and the reason why i'm saying this right now that screens are not accurate because this is what happens in the process. All right, let's, let's try to, just to focus. So if I record ISO 100, oh, it's not doing it anymore. Hmm, why, it is to flicker and then it would be sometimes overexposed, but I'm gonna open these shadows up a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is increase. Come on. See, I don't have control over the ice, the the ISO, so I have to go back into manual mode for men, real men. <laughs> real men mess with ISO. What? Why little monkeys mess with toys. <laughs> Alright. So here's the here's the problem. In real time, this will show me what my ISO will look like right before I record. So and see how it changes? That is what I don't like. That should not be there at all. Like so now I know that I have to the only way to get my centers right, I have to play with I have to play with the camera first and then say, oh yeah, I'm going to waste time doing this all the time. Deleting the footage. I'm going to waste my time doing this. Like, firmware-wise, it's all over the place. And now I have to, like, say, if I don't there's no 320 ISO setting, so, and this is what happens when you go to ISO 800. I like to shoot at ISO 800, so now I have to go in here and shoot. See, F9, nope, we're going to shoot at F8. Wow, this is bugging me. The touchpad is not working as good like 2.0. Watch. See? You think you recorded it and then that happens. It's like, hmm. You didn't want to experience that kind of video feature. That's... Now, that footage, when you play it, The screen tells you this is what it looks like, but when you get in the camera, it looks kind of different. It looks like a third stop underexposed from what this shows you. This is way overexposed, but I probably could save this, but I'm not quite sure. It seems a little bit overexposed. And it says three stops underexposed, so I'm going to increase my shutter speed.
See, I'm trying to press S. Functionalities is just all over the place. Let's see what happens. That looks a little better, right? When we record video, it looks a little better. Oh well, yeah, 2.0 was actually better. I'm sorry, but I think at at the time when there was no HDR or white balance bracket and anything like that, it was fun fun functioned fine other than some flickers. But now, as you see, it's all over the place, and certain meta certain modes you can't access certain settings. It's just like, and in the manual, by the way, it doesn't really explain that really doesn't. I've read it twice already and doesn't explain that. It doesn't say in this mode you can't use this in this mode or that mode. No, it just said select the modes. Look, right here. Select the modes. You can read this for yourself. I shouldn't you not. Can this focus? Did you guys read it? See? So, this is like the, the microphone thirds camera that is, it's on crack, seriously, like in a good way, like it's boosting out really good images. It's like, it's all souped up. <laughs> but, the menu sentence is just, so I have to dissect it. I have to dissect this booklet and do my own dial to like 3.2 because basically this is, this is based on 1.1.0, uh, actually. So, yeah. Come on, focus. Why is it not focusing? Oh boy. Sure, I'm with this app. Focus my child. Focus my child. Wow, it won't focus. Okay, single point focus. Let me put this on single point on the camera. Are you serious? Wow, I won't focus anymore. Hold on, guys. Is that focus? Yeah, it is. But. Why is it hunting today? See, everything is going wrong on this live stream. That's why live stream is just... I kind of, I don't want to give up on live streams. Don't get me wrong. I love putting the effort and the work into doing live streams. But the one thing I just hate about live streams is when everything just goes to poop. Go poo poo. If you look at my past live streams, everything was going good. But doing something like this and things are not functioning like the way they are, like the Sony Imaging app, that's what I'm using as my webcam. It just goes to poo poo, period. And this lens, I haven't even test test this lens out yet. So you're gonna focus on this. Let's see here. See, I'm gonna turn it off on the Sony app. Look at that. See, this small little 1.8 lens, 42.2. Two actually, let's, let's mount this on. And yes, I'm powering this with a battery, uh, portable battery brick. So, just to let you guys see that as well, let's get some. Ooh, look at that! Look the histogram. Look at the histogram. Not so shabby, right? Let's see here. We see the flickering, guys. 
See the flickering? I, oh, dude, look at the flickering. Look at the Bannon. I see Bannon right there. You guys see that? Look at it. There's a Bannon right there. It's like... Looking dead at it. Because every time you try to focus, Bannon starts to happen. I can see it on the reflections of the wall. Yeah, I can see it. See? It's like... Wow. See? It's not showing me in real time what my image would look like. And I want that to happen. Look how ex overexposed that is. Hmm. 3.2 sucks. It needs to go in the trash. In the trash. I'm going to probably try to get 2.0 back on here. It's, but I want to do time lapse. And that might mess up my time lapse too. That's another cute. Uh, <clears throat> it's another, another worrying factor about. Oh man, this live stream is just going nuts. I'm going nuts. Oh boy. I'm tired. That's why. I mean, I'm tired. Oh man, I need to sleep. Okay. You know what? Let's do this. We in manual mode? Okay, great. Excellent. Screw this. We go with the big boys go. And that's shoot and roll. Fuck that. Screw the JPEGs. Gives a damn about a JPEG. I'm sure that I said 200. See, it's not showing me in real time what my image would look like. So I gotta take a shot. And this is how it looks like. It's like, come on. That's crazy. And it's not gonna show me or give me any flexibility to change anything in camera mode. It won't focus, you see that? Yeah, three three uh three point two just got really sloppy. Two point oh was better. It focused. When I touch in two point oh firmware, when I touch the screen to focus on something, it focused. It will hunt a little bit until it finds its focus, its focus area and then it will lock on and stay on. This is why 3.2 is just garbage. See? Okay. I can't change ISO. That's why real men use M. M for manual power. You want power? You shoot in manual mode. Manual mode for real men, not pussies. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think this was always exposed, but see, doesn't show me in real time what my image should look like. This is what my image should look like. Alright guys, I'm going to end this live stream. I hope you guys have experienced that. 3.2 is not really... It, it's good for some choices, okay? Don't get me wrong. But, I'm going to actually reset everything. But, thank you for watching everyone. I do appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Oh boy. Now I gotta dissect everything and see what functions work with this function. Uh, actually, we went through that already, but now I have to write it down. Manly mode. Yes, if you like M mode, you shoot manly. Well, what about the women? It sounds too damn manly. No, we shoot M for 
Hmm. Let's see. Manual labor people only. <laughs> people that want to go do the labor. Oh, like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> the labor. Look at that. Post pizza. What is that? It's it's trash. Not in real time. That's crazy. Won't show me in real time. What my image will look like. Okay, now it's doing it. What's it doing it before? Wow, certain menus. This is weird. I was having a good freaking time with this camera without any problems with the settings. Look at that. False pretense, man. Looking all muddy. Do I have to make a pixel on? Probably. Like an idiot. Nope, 20 megapixels activated. Watch when it shoots video. See that? When it shoots video. Force speed. Oh, man. Oh. 2.0 was such a better speaking firmware. Sorry. The Nikon FE was made for ladies. It has a aperture priority. Wow. I don't know, man. When I first started out, I was using aperture priority quite a bit. When I was in my younger days, so if you call me a girl, I guess Panda must fight you to a duel, to a long exposure photo. But anyway, guys, let me get out of here because I gotta, I gotta break this down. I gotta, how much, how long do I have? Wow, I got 30 minutes to break this down because I'm done at four o'clock in this room. So, guys, if you guys want to support the channel, I guess we figure things out with this camera with 3.2 later on but if you guys want to support this channel it really does help me grow pay the bills website stuff like that there's a paypal donation link down in the description below but we just witnessed here that 3.2 is just it's over the place it's not really ideal we've been playing it for over an hour now and we got nowhere <laughs> basically <laughs> we got nowhere it's all over the place but Anyway, guys, if you guys want to support the channel, just also make sure that you subscribe, like, share the content, and be good to yourself, and go out there and go out there and shoot, because it's a beautiful weekend. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. That's what I did this morning. I just showed you that on uh, on Adobe Premiere. So, But please do support the channel by going to my website, 646 Studios, make a donation. It really does help me, guys. And... Nikon said, take care, bro. N yeah, Nikon. Hey, uh, can you make a camera like this? But don't try to shit on it. Don't do a Canon. Please, don't do a Canon RP. Please don't. This, I'm pretty sure you can do a camera like this, Nikon. If Sony can, you can too. But with that said, everyone, you guys take care. Peace.